What's up everybody, my name is Riley Katz. I'm a writer for the Daily Reveille at LSU. Uh, my blog is The Tech Dump, and today we are trying to break this Sonim XP5. It's a combat approved uh, brick, is the best way to describe it. Uh, we're gonna do some more rigorous tests than normal. We're not just gonna drop it, we're gonna try to break this thing because it's about an inch thick and it's supposed to be with it's supposed to be waterproof, drop proof, pretty much any kind of proof available. So, um, let's see what we can do to this thing. So the first thing we're gonna do is take the phone and throw it as hard as I can at the ground and see what happens. Um, I'm confident it's gonna withstand this drop, but uh, I don't know. <laughs> if it doesn't survive, then I'm gonna be pretty disappointed with this thing. I'm nervous, I've never thrown a phone at the ground before. <laughs> Wow, it works. <laughs> All right, once again, uh, just to prove that it's still working, this is the uh, this is the home screen. Um, what we're gonna do now, since we threw it at the ground as hard as we could, now we're gonna hit it with a hammer and see what happens. Um, I think this is when the screen is gonna go out. Um, so let's do that. Let's <laughs> it's fine. This is. Oh wait, we've got a little. We got a line of dead pixels on there. I don't know if you can see that, but it's turned green. All right, so the hammer test didn't do anything but kill a line of pixels. But I'm not satisfied with that. So what we're gonna do now is run it over with my car, and I think, like I did for the first two tests, that this that's gonna kill this. So, I'm going to put this under the tire, right here. It's nice and snug. Let's see what happens. Do I want to shut it down? <laughs> that's that's what we got. No, I don't want to shut it down. It's still fine. It shows almost no sign of wear besides being a little bit dirty. But um, now we're going to put it in a washing machine and see what happens. So, <laughs> so now what we're going to do, now that it's all nice and dirty from being run over by my car four times, by f four to two different tires twice. We're going to throw it in the washing machine and make it all nice and clean. Just to make sure it's clean. Put it on regular. I'd say it's been about 15, 20 minutes. Um, I haven't looked at the phone yet, but we're gonna see how it looks. It's got some grass on it. Oh, it's got water in the screen. You see that? But it still works. Um, Can you unlock? Yeah, yeah. Oops. Yeah. It still works. I don't know how that works. <laughs> but yeah, there's water inside of there. But it looks like the phone is still fully functional. So after functional. throwing it at the ground, hitting it with a hammer, and running it over with my car, and then washing it in the washing machine, this thing still works. Um, while that's amazing, I wouldn't recommend buying this phone unless you're in construction. Um, I'm kind of tempted to take this with me to the beach next week. 
Uh, but besides that, it doesn't have many features besides an FM radio push to talk, a lot of features that construction companies could use. Uh, one of the cooler things about it is it has a magnetic charger. Um, that's something I wish more phones had, but it's not going to sell this device. Uh, what's going to sell it is the durability. And I'd say that it's a pretty major selling point after putting it through what we've put it through. So the people I would recommend this phone to are construction workers or anybody who just treat their phones harshly in general. If you go hiking and it falls down a hill, I'm confident that it would survive the drop. But our final test, which isn't entirely supported by Sonim, was something that we thought that the phone just could not withstand, and that is fire. So we decided to put it in my fire pit and light it on fire and see what happens because that's the last thing we could think of that could possibly destroy this phone. Um, so I'll be surprised if it actually survives fire. I'd say it survived. Um, it probably would have survived longer had the screw not broken off due to user error.